Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you doing? It's LJ Avila's Life Coach VIP. For those of you watching on the rebroadcast, I appreciate you joining me today. And um, I uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, five tips uh, to save money when you're going to Disney World, or really kind of anywhere traveling. But this is specifically Disney World, and pro probably also uh, Disneyland. Uh, my family and I are huge Disney fanatics. Um, so just to give you a little insight about me, this is uh, my site, lifecoachlj.com. Uh, I'm Life Coach. I help improve your life physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. So I'm a proud husband. We have three beautiful children. I've transformed my life. Um, if you're in a need of getting any kind of health, fitness, shape, and everything, uh, if you go to lifecoachlj.com slash free, you will get a free uh, five tips to get healthy today, to get healthy cheat sheet. Uh, you just go in and fill out your information. But uh, that's one way you can, uh, you know, get healthy. That's just a little thank you guys for and getting you know a little bit about me. So let me give you a flip here. How's it going, gang? It's a little late. My lighting isn't the best here, so I apologize for that. So it's, it's a little late at night. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, my family and I. Again, for those of you who don't know me, I'm LJ Villas, Life Coach VIP. I help improve your lives different ways. I come back here every day on Periscope. I give you daily motivational videos, and I try to do like a tip of the day. <clears throat> so I try to come on twice a day. It usually ends up being around the same time because, uh, you know, I'm busy. But I like to do quick and dirty tips because uh, I'm a busy man, and I know some of you guys are, so... You're watching a lot of Periscope videos, so let's not see waste all this time and everything, but I uh, wanted to give you guys a little introduction about me. So let's get right into it. This is uh, five things, five tips you can do to save money uh, when you go to Disney World. Uh, my wife and I, my family, and my our family, my wife's sister's family, and her parents, so there's 11 of us in all, are going to Disney World in a week or so. So if you like Disney World, I'm going to be Periscoping live from there. So what you want to do is hit that uh the little dude on the right bottom right hand side and you can hit the follow button to follow me and um again i come back with daily motivation and everything and always kind of tips random tips you never know that's what the life coaching is about always giving you something you never know what you're gonna get and um also if you hit that button you can hit the share button if you have any disney fanatic fans or anything like that hit that share button let them know that i'm on and even if you're watching this rebroadcast that still can share with everything and if you like the content i'm giving you you can tap the screen at any time it gives me some hearts lets me know that what i'm talking about is cool and that you're enjoying this so okay let's get started five tips to save you some money when you're traveling to disney world the first one i have my notes to the side so i'm just kind of like i want to make sure i get it all right so the first one is travel in the off season so where we happen to be going at the end of august my sister-in-law is a teacher so we kind of have to go you know in the summer uh the peak times are obviously the summer everyone has off major holidays uh four-day weekend type holidays try to go into off season like october november is kind of a good time period a lot of kids are in school january february is another good time December picks up usually because of Christmas and everything like that. And um, so January, February is usually good. Uh, I personally, our favorite time to go is early May, like late April, early May, like the first week of May, because there's it's right before Labor Day. A lot of kids are still in school. Uh, it's not too hot in Florida, but it's not too cold. So you still get that nice summer weather, but it's not like scorching hot. Hello from California. How you doing? I'm in South, I'm in uh, New Jersey, in South Jersey. So yeah, guys, comment. I love talking to you guys and hearing from you guys and uh, getting to interact. That's what I love about Periscope. So again, tip number one for saving money when you're traveling to Disney World is to travel in the off season because they lower the rates uh, for hotels. You can usually get discounts. You live three miles from Disneyland. I'm so jealous. I live a two hour flight from Disney World. And these tips can probably work for Disneyland as well. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing, pretty much. Um, that's awesome that you live three miles from Disneyland. How often do you go to Disneyland? Because if I lived in Disney in Florida, like which is what our family would love to do, uh, I'd be going all the time, at least once a week. We're just huge Disney fanatics. All right, tip number two. Uh, which is something you got to consider, which is do you want to stay on site versus staying off site? So they both have different advantages. If you're trying to save some money, you're better off probably possibly staying off site. You could probably get lower rates uh, on certain hotels. 
Uh, we've had connections with fr uh, friends who have timeshares and they kind of give us discounts through them. So if you have friends or family who have timeshares, that's another good way you can save some money. We've booked week rooms, like two bedroom suites, um, like almost like apartments, mini apartments at condos or whatever, like at timeshares through my friend. And it would be like $500 for the week where if you stay in Disney, even just getting like, you know, a two queen room or whatever uh, is, you know, can be like at least $100 a night. I just earned a free trip to Disney Resort for, for say we went in June. That is awesome. That is so cool. I've been going to Disney World uh, for the past four years since my oldest daughter was two. And now my we've gone every year since. And now this is my youngest daughter's first time. I have three kids. So that is very cool that you got to go like that. Uh, so, okay, the, the benefits, okay, so you save money if you go off-site, but if you stay on, the only disadvantage is that you kind of lose that Disney experience. Pampered Chef paid for it. That's a pretty good deal. That's pretty awesome. I appreciate that. So, okay, we're going to do a little poll here, and I appreciate all those hearts coming through. Thank you very much for that. That lets me know you guys appreciate this comp this kind of content. So, um Let's figure, let's think this out. So if you stay offsite, you lose that Disney experience. So if you're going to Disney World, that's kind of like the hard part. We've stayed offsite. So once you get in Disneyland, in Disney World or Disneyland, if you're in California, wish it was Disney World. Yeah, <laughs> there's a total, the four parks, they're amazing. It's a totally different experience. I've never been to California. I want to go and check out Disneyland also. So with this, um, you lose that Disney experience if you stay off-site, which is kind of the only thing that sucks. But once you get in Disney World, of course, you have that experience. Another added cost if you stay off-site that you need to factor in is possibly renting a car or a cab or Uber, whatever type of driving you do, depending on your size of your party as well. Like I travel with five people now and a baby. Uh, hashtag tag tribes heart bombs. Heart bombs, I love that. I appreciate the tag tribes heart bombs. That's very cool. So when you stay on site, you may pay a little more, but in the end, again, depending on the size of your party, depending on the hotel's deals that you can find, it might either be a break even or save money by staying on site also. So those are factors, again, it varies in the time of the year, the different deals you can find, um, which way you're gonna save money. So staying on site gives you that full Disney experience. I haven't stayed on site since I was in high school, almost 15 years ago. I'm getting old. Okay, I'm 31, I'll say my age, I don't care, whatever. So, but um, we've stayed off site to save money, um, but now staying on site, um, we're gonna get that full experience. This is what we're doing in, uh, in next week. So we're, we're super excited about that. All right, let's 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 recap. So for those of you who just joined us, uh, joining in new, uh, I am LJ Villas, Life Coach VIP from lifecoachlj.com. I help you improve your lives physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. I come back every day with daily tips, uh, with top five tips or this or that and um, also daily motivation you can actually go back and view with some of my other previous periscopes um, so we're talking about five ways you can save money uh, when traveling to Disney World and the first way was travel in the off season number two was staying on site versus staying off site comparing the prices it's kind of got to do a little bit of homework so number three uh, is consider buying an annual pass so there's a there's a few tricks to this because so with an annual pass, it will cause you more expensive up front. But if you plan to go to Disney World the next year or sometime later in the year within the next 365 days, it could be worth it, especially depending on how long your stay is. So I forget the exact number of days. Like if you go within like a 10 or 11 days, it's kind of like that's where you really start to – it pays for itself. But um, so let's say you're going – planning two – week-long vacations to Disney World, back-to-back -back years. So let's say you go the last week of August, which is when I'm gone. If within next year's family vacation, next year's, we go before the last week of August because you have 365 days, we can go the second week of August if we wanted to as our family vacation for next year. It basically pays for itself. We're just paying it ahead of time. Um, and if we happen to go also, like let's say my wife and I take a little four-day we can get away for ourselves or something like that and we want to go to disney world but hey we already got the the tickets paid for so we'll just pay for a flight and hotel so those are 
little things you got to consider. Um, and also, you also want to find places to buy the tickets from. Undercover Tourists is a great site. That's really helpful because um, they have discounted sites. Uh, the Disney World site itself is um, some you know where you want to mainly buy them. You got to be careful with those sites that say you know get get them for cheap or this or that blah blah blah. I, I'm always very cautious about it. I like to use Undercover Tourists. I think there's another one I can't think about. Um, sometimes you can also look through your job. Like my job has uh, we're through Working Advantage where. Uh, we get discounted tickets depending on the amount of days you go also. So you got to compare those prices and everything and figure out what works out. If you're in the Florida area, sometimes you can do like the timeshares, do a timeshare for two hour spiel thing and then they'll give you free tickets to whatever Disney World Park or something like that. I've never personally done it, but that's something to also consider if you want to do that type of thing. So that's just giving you ideas. All right, number four. Uh, is when you're in the park, uh, plan your meal times and bring in snacks. Disney World does allow you to bring in snacks, so you don't have to always buy their food. So if you like, can pack like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, some chips, fruit, apples, bananas, whatever. Uh, that's a good way to kind of save some money. Oh, I don't want this to die. Sorry. Again, I'm on my notes are over here on the side. I just want to make sure I hit all my points right. Um, so plan your meal times. Also, if you do do eat meals there um dine on appetizers because ask the waiters sometimes you get an appetizer and that thing's like a meal itself so if you're gonna eat appetizers like that you know eat a meal that's a, a big appetizer you know that might fill you up enough another thing is consider is splitting a meal so if you buy a big dinner especially because it's not like you're gonna take a, any leftovers home um usually a dinner portion especially is usually enough to for feed two people so if you split it you can ask the waiter they'll even give you two plates and kind of split it for you and it's usually just enough to fill you up maybe get like a small split and appetizer as well or a little salad or something just kind of get you uh, a little fuller if you need to but that's a good way to one save money and two uh save on you know take for the day and everything like that so that's um another way uh, to help you save some money. And number five is uh, bring your own camera. They do have the, the photographers there. They take great pictures. They have phenomenal pictures. Uh, and then you can even do with their wristband or the card or whatever. They'll give you a card or wristband and you can buy the pictures online. But to buy other pictures they take, uh, it can be very expensive, over $100 sometimes. So what you can do with this is actually um, bring your own camera and you can ask them to take pictures for you. So we, if, especially if a nice camera, like we have a, um, you know, like spend like a $200 camera, that's 60 megapixels something, you know, it's better than like your average cell phone picture. Of course you can use your cell phones as well, but um, we have a nice family camera that we use. You know, we have three little ones, um, three year, almost three year old, a six month old, a 10 month old. Oh my God, let me start. <laughs> we have three kids. Our youngest is 10 months old. Our son is will be three in two months, and our oldest is six years old. So they're constantly moving. So we bought a nice camera, so you know we can take pictures of them because it's hard to get all three of them looking at the same time. Anyway, I sidetracked. This is how um, you can save money because you, you can ask them. They'll take the pictures for you, and you have your nice camera, you have your good photos, and then you can kind of see, look online if you want to buy a few that they took. That's awesome. You totally can do that too. So that's a, a good way. So let me recap. Uh, the five ways you can save money when traveling to Disney World is to travel in the off season, uh, stay on and off sites, uh, stay, determine whether you want to stay on site versus staying off site. Uh, consider buying an annual pass, especially if you plan to travel uh, back to Disney World within the next year or vacation there the next year because you are allowed 365 days to um, use the annual pass. So. You know, again, if you go at the end of August, let's say like I am, and as long as we go before the end of August next year, if we went in May even, we can use it or whatever, it kind of like might balance out, especially if you're going for like seven days each time. It's it's definitely gonna be worth getting an annual pass at that point. Uh, number four was plan your meal times uh, and like bring snacks and things like that. Uh, maybe have good snacks for lunch and then have an earlier dinner like a three or four o'clock dinner and this way you'll be full throughout the night you're really only paying for one meal also when you're eating uh meals there consider eating 
appetizer as your meal or splitting your dinners because one you're not going to walk around with leftovers and two you don't want to be super full like in a food coma and you're like oh my god i gotta walk around disney world <gasps> food coma you know what i mean so you just want to like have fun with it i like to have fun but yeah you don't want to be starving especially you're gonna, and don't worry you're gonna walk off all the calories <laughs> as much walking you can do there um i've i've have a i don't have it now but we have a fitbit and we've i've tracked over five thousand steps no, I'm sorry. It was over five miles in one day. And then I think I went back later in the day and we did two more miles. So we did like seven miles in one day. So you do a lot of walking. So you're going to want to eat. Carve up. Yeah. Um, and then the fifth thing is bring your camera. Take your own pictures. It's a good way. They have the cameras. And even when the photographers, they have their professional cameras, they'll take your camera pictures for you. So that's uh, a good way to save some money. So thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoy this. Again, if you enjoy this content, you hit the little dude right here in the bottom right. And um, when it pops up, you hit that share button. And that lets people know, any of your Disney fanatic friends or family that you think they might like this or any of your followers, let them know that, hey, this is some cool Disney info, especially if you're going in anytime soon or planning a trip. And also hit that follow button. That lets you know, I'll let you know when that lets Periscope tell you the, when I'm online so I can come back to you and uh, we can hang out a little more. So anyone, um, you also have the little chat box here. You're allowed to talk to me. I like to comment and interact with you guys. And any hearts throughout any time you watch this or if you watch it on the rebroadcast, just tap the screen. You can poke my eye. Go ahead, poke it. Poke it. Poke it. <laughs> and, um, you know, that lets me know that you guys like what I'm talking about and I'll come back with more kind of information of this stuff. So again, um, and I want to give you guys a little extra bonus. Again, I'm a life coach. I help improve your lives physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. So if you go to lifecoachlj.com and you can, um, you can join my VIP crews. All my followers is what I call my VIP crew. Just sign up and um, I'll send you a free uh, five tips to get healthy today. Um, it's quick and dirty stuff little simple things quick tips uh it's just a gift to you as a thank you for joining my vip crew because we all need to be healthy one way or another and you know whether it's for ourselves for our family for our kids whatever it is we want to make sure we're healthy people and um yeah that's a little free gift for you so once again lifecoachlj.com and um hit that follow button i'll be back tomorrow with some more daily motivation and uh, I'll think of something else, like kind of some cool tips. Um, you can also email me if you like this kind of tips. I always like to do how-to or quick tips or whatever. So um, you can email me, lj at lifecoachlj.com. And uh, let me know what kind of stuff you like to hear. And I'll be glad to come back and find out what information. Because I always listen to research and I like to share my knowledge and share it with you guys. And help make your life easier, you know. There's a bunch of knowledge out there. But hey, if you can have it come to you, why not, right? So... Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow and as I always end every broadcast trust and believe in yourself and trust and believe and life coach all day alright gang I'll talk